Hello, this is Pastor Neil. I'm here in Corpus Christi, Texas with a team of 18 people, mostly young people, from St. James Lutheran Church. And we're down here doing hurricane relief. We're staying on the grounds of uh, Trinity Lutheran Church. That's the back door of the church there. I'm trying to show you. And uh, uh, there's some school buildings over there, preschool. We're, we're, we're sleeping in the school rooms. This church got spared uh, in Hurricane Harvey, and uh, it's, it's the center for doing all kinds of hurricane relief for homeowners who were either uh, devastated or badly um, damaged. And uh, they sent out all kinds of teams. They've had 300 people come through, and we're the next team. Um, I'm showing you this right here. See behind me there? Uh, the, those are the those are showers. There's six showers in that white building. I don't know if you can read men's and women's doors. A disaster. Lutheran disaster response provided the showers. Uh, which, that's really great. It makes it um, pretty great. I mean, today we were at this house, it, mucking it out. It's called mucking it out. What a thing! The the muck, the sludge, the wreckage. It's it's terrible. Um, the, the the homeowner there, uh, Ed, he said that in the hurricane, he and his sister at one point spent um, seven hours shoulder deep in water. Yeah. So it's, a, it's just an incredible mess in there. And, uh, you know, Ed said, um, you know, we see this with a lot of Texans. They are proud, um, hardworking people. But the amount of work is so devastating. It just seems hopeless. And to have a team come down and move this project majorly down the road, he, he was so impressed with how hard our kids were working. You would be impressed to see how hard our kids worked. It was amazing how hard they worked in wearing masks because of mold and yuck and the girls even had to chase a rat at one point with a shovel um, and they got this job done it was it, it, we said what a great day doing a horrible job and Ed was so impressed and happy and he said the hope that it gives him was wonderful and he, and he, he wanted to put us on Facebook and all this stuff because he says I know other people in, in our town here who need this they're losing hope and they need to know about this so, you know, we feel pretty good and we feel God at, at work through us. So why am I making this video? I, you know, I never make videos. I'm, I'm holding this with my hand. You probably do this all the time. I never do this. Um, I'm doing this because to have a sense that in the summer, a lot of church work happens more than other times outside the church. Um, we get out there um, on a mission team. Hurricane Relief to Corpus Christi or um, or um, Vacation Bible School or, or that kind of stuff. And, and, and people scatter during the, the summer. You you probably do too. People leave the church and we don't, we don't see each other as much in person at worship because people are here, there, and the other place. But we can still be involved. Even though we're outside the church building, not getting together in person quite as much, we can still be involved in the work God has given us as his family. Um, how? By sending in our offering, even though we're not there. You know, the, God continues doing stuff in the church that we care about so much, even when we can't be there. Worship services still go on, even when we're not there. Um, the mission team goes on. The caregivers are still giving care because people still get sick, even though it's summer. There's a vacation Bible school. It all goes on. And we can still be part of this, even though we may be on vacation or for whatever reason, not in, in, in there on a Sunday or a Saturday, uh, by sending our offering. Carol and I do that. Um, after we get back from Texas, not long after, we're going to be um, on vacation for a few weeks. But our offering will be there every week because we give electronically. That's how we do it. And um, that allows, um, it just allows the work to go on without any, um, any dip at all, um, at least from our side. I know that just before we, we came down to Texas, um, a, a member of our church uh, came by the church office um, to drop off specially 100 bucks. Um, for the Texas team, for whatever you guys need down there. And it's needed. It was great. Um, just because she, she knew that she wasn't going to be able to be in worship for a while for one reason or another, but she wants to be part of what's going on. That's the spirit. That's great. So uh, I want to urge you, uh, if you haven't done this before, even if you can't be in worship, to still be part of what your church family's doing. Uh, you can still participate. Uh, you can give electronically like we do. Uh, if you have the church app, it's a button right in the middle, um, push pay, and uh, you can give a donation like that, or you can, uh, you can drop by the church office like that person I told you about did, or mail in your offering, but um, 
just be aware of the great things God's doing all months of the year, even when for one reason we can't, be, one reason or another, we can't be there personally. So um, God bless you. I will see you soon enough, I'm sure. And uh, thanks for your prayers and for, for caring about people that God cares about. God bless you. Bye.